It's decision days. It's time to decide what to put in a fall garden. And I'm gonna show you what I'm starting with. Got lots of different seeds. I got some, um, mostly I'm using in my gardener in Baker Creek. Um, I have a couple of seeds from Swaps. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I'm starting with this week alone. There'll be other things along the way like radishes and things like that. But right now, I'm starting with cabbages, collards, um, kale, different things like that. I'm doing another round of uh, runner beans, pole beans, and on the trellises. Hopefully, that'll get going. I've got some uh, late squash out there uh, for a second round and also some Kajari melons. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get those to do. I did some in my crate in... Uh, there's one melon out there that, you know, it's a little bit of size. The other ones are just drying up on the vine. It's just so hot. And I think my um, mixture of hummus and um, compost no. and things like that was just not the right mixture, not the right ratio. Something, <laughs> something's not right. It's not holding moisture enough. And uh, so got to revamp that, but that's okay. I think next after this little round of melons, I'm gonna pull that crate away and start using it for a compost bin. So there's always a way to reuse, recycle, and repurpose, right? Okay, so let's look at seeds. Now, I'm not gonna call out every one of these seeds to y'all. This is just some of the ones I'm starting with. I've got them in my little basket, and you can see. So this is just the beginning for me. It's getting that time. Time to start planting a fall garden. It looks like it snowed out here. Not really. That's diatomaceous earth. The stink bugs were driving me insane, so I came out the other day and sprinkled everything down. Some of these tomato plants, though, they're finished. They're no longer blossoming. Um, so I'm gonna be pulling them out. I've already pulled a couple off the back row and around throughout. Now it is time to get rid of some more. There's some that still got blossoms coming and I'm gonna leave those. But the ones that don't, their time is done. And it's time to start planting for the fall. And I've been doing that. I've been amending the soil with some basic garden slag. It's a black dust. It's trace minerals from the steel mines. A natural product. And I've got a few squash coming up that I had uh, second rounded. This little bed right here is going to be some Copenhagen market cabbage. <laughs> I got a couple melons trying to come up right here that I was going to trellis. I was just going to see if I could get them to grow late. And a few squash. The runner beans are still going. And so I planted some more cabbages here, a different type. I've got uh, blue shelling peas in these two rows. This long row is collards. So far, the purple holes are still here. They're reproducing again. So I'm leaving them because as you can see, they're still going. So I may get another quarter or two out of these and that's fine. I can replant and I actually did replant back here on this trellis. Just a few. On the side of these cucumbers. <laughs> it looks like it snowed. That died to Mesha's earth. Goodness. It's going to rain soon and it'll wash it away. But, so that's what's going on in the garden. I'm looking through seed packets and dreaming about what's going to go where all these tomato plants were. I actually planted some more pole beans. They've not started coming up yet. 
won't be long. Maybe they'll take the place of these that are dying. They're still producing though. It's crazy. <laughs> you see, the vines are dying, but they're putting off some beans. So I'll collect the ones that are there. I planted some kale under the trellis here. Some dinosaur kale under these two. So they'll get real big, but I think they could appreciate a little bit of the shading for now. But that's what's going on in Mimsy's garden. Just getting ready for the fall, trying to decide what needs to come out when. Everything's just so parched. It's so dry here. Even uh, with the rains we've gotten, it's like it evaporates really quick. But now if I dig under this soil, it will, um, there's moisture in the ground a bit, but we need a good soaking rain again. Zinnias are still rocking. I'm gonna plant another round of those. As soon as I get brave enough to pull all this up, this is where the last baby snake was when I was trying to weed. So a little bit nervous about sticking my hands down in there. And the butterflies, they're so pretty. And the Cherokee tan pumpkins, they're turning. Isn't that cool? There's a couple of them. Let's see if we can slip around here and check out the melons. A little Kajari melon. A few blossoms on that, it just struggles. Um, I think I messed up when I put the hummus and the black cow and the uh, other soils in here. I probably should have just used more dirt and amended it differently. But there are a lot of blossoms. It's just, I don't think it holds enough moisture. And so the plant struggles. You can see there's a dried up melon that didn't stand a chance. And there's the one. And I hope more come on. It's not very big. Maybe it'll do something. Now here's a closer look at that Cherokee tan, the small one. There's two small ones. And then one that's a little larger. And there's still more blossoms coming. I got a weed around here. Ooh, weeds are my life, y'all know that. I planted some uh, purple kohlrabi here. We'll see if that comes up. It may just be too hot there at this time, but I'm trying. And I've got plenty of seeds. Let me see my birdhouse gourds. They're looking cool. Lufa's still putting off. So that's fun, fun to watch. I love that vine, she's just so pretty. I've got a few of the lupas in my greenhouse and they're about dried out now. Peppers, lots of peppers still coming. This has been an awesome garden for me. Awesome learning experience. I've learned what tomatoes I'll plant again and which ones I won't. I learned more about fertilizing and how much more I could, could have done. They're still putting off blossoms. It's just amazing to me. Some Marconi peppers. I got a Marconi red yesterday and I ate it right out here. I didn't even wait to take it in the house. I just dusted it off the diatomaceous earth and chomped it on down. I'm not scared to consume it. It's food grade and it's anti-parasitic. But this is the Marconi pepper plant and it's really just starting to, to produce good, which is amazing. 
But there was one red one on there yesterday and I got it. It was good. I see some chasitos that need to come off. So the peppers are just now kicking it around here. Seems like they took forever. I gotta harvest some more of these marigolds. I did pull a few of the plants out, which seems to give room for these younger pepper plants. But that's what's going on in Mimsy's garden. Are y'all as excited for fall as I am? <laughs> I'm kind of over this Mississippi heat and humidity. It's been a great summer though. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, following my journey on my very first garden. I'll be trying a lot of new methods next year. Looking at the fabric cloth, I'm looking at the billboard paper. Uh, trying to get some from a local guy here. Uh, he and a friend have a company together. and But he also has a construction business, so he uses a lot of that billboard fabric on roofing and stuff. So roofing not roofing roofing <laughs> so it might be a little bit difficult to get from him but i'm gonna try to talk him out of about four big billboards <laughs> to help out with this garden i i sent him a message on facebook i told him i'd give him a big old shout out if he would hook, hook a sister up so maybe he will i'd sure like to try it and i'll be growing noodle beans again these are great check them out <laughs>